What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Mac. Return of the Mac. What's happening? How y'all doing? Good morning, good morning. Yeah, and how we used to say, what's how I'm with you? What's good with y'all, man? Y'all good? You know I'm here to talk sports, or better yet, basketball, man. I told y'all Yoki's wasn't going to get suspended, which we all knew. We already figured that was going to happen, but that ain't what I'm here to talk to y'all about, man. And y'all wonder why my fat self always up early with a smile on my face because I like to start off being positive and being thankful for the things we use, the, you know, the, the things we we have and we take for granted, i.e. life and waking up the next morning. You know what I mean? So I woke up this morning and I came with a new lesson. I learned that you have to uh, be willing to let go of certain things at times. You know what I mean? You got to be willing to let go. And that's exactly what the Golden State Warriors is going to have to do with Jordan Poole and Draymond Green come this offseason, y'all. I feel like that is on the way. You know, I don't see a reason for Golden State to keep them around unless they make some kind of miraculous uh, comeback from being down 3-1 to beat the Lakers and go all the way to the finals and win. But I think they're going to have to make a decision this offseason with Jordan Poole and Draymond Green and or Draymond Green or they might just cut Draymond Green what y'all think because we all know about the infamous incident that happened at the beginning of the season where Draymond had to give a young nigga some discipline and as we watching the playoffs and seeing that same young man's reaction to certain things not saying we agree with Draymond's actions but we at least understand the manner in which Draymond lost his cool, of how he may have lost his cool, you know what I'm saying? At least that's what we speculate, because we don't know much about Jordan Poole either. A lot of people try to make speculations about the guy because they show signs of him on the uh, the bench or clips or whatever, where he's arguing with a coach, he's upset because they're pulling him out the game, you know, and, and people just assuming, oh, he's not a team player, he's just this, and all this negative stuff, and I'm like, so he couldn't be that maybe he's frustrated because his shots are not going in and he feel he can feel that he's hurting his team more than he's helping his team and he's frustrated because he don't know how to get out of that mental slump. I don't think like it couldn't be that, y'all. We just gotta assume that he's just this young prima donna, you know, and that's the real reason of why he's acting a certain way. It couldn't just be that, right? But we all know about the incident with Draymond and Jordan Poole that happened at the beginning of the year. I like the fact that you can tell but the uh, behavior between them two. You can tell that, like, it ain't really fool. Like, they don't. it ain't no beef there. And if it, if it is a beef, they're both professional enough to where on the floor we don't see it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't think Draymond Green is a fake dude. You know, we see several times of Draymond Green showing his emotions on his sleeve. So I don't think... He's a fake dude by no means. So if he said it ain't no problems, then I believe it ain't no problems. You know what I'm saying? If he, Because if it is, I think Draymond would say something like, oh, we, you know, we just got to make sure we keep it professional and everything like that. I mean, I'm pretty, he'll say something like that to where you like, ah, okay, we get it. But the Warriors still went on a pretty good run until I think the, uh, the all-star break, I think Steph Curry went down and, um, you know, they lost a good bit of games, but that's that's normal when your best player go down. Like, we got to learn a whole different type of offense, a whole nother system. And now that they're back in the playoffs, you know, they up and running. And to be honest with y'all, I felt like the Sacramento Kings might have had their card this year until Draymond Green got suspended. Like I said, the Warriors band together when one of their players is getting treated wrong by the media, y'all. Like, we all know what happened with Draymond Green and uh, DeMonte Sabonis or whatever. I might have got the kid's name wrong. I'm sorry if I did. But we felt like if y'all going to if y'all gonna punish players, you got to punish both of them in that situation. Dude fell to the floor. He grabbed Draymond's foot. And you can clearly see Draymond like, man, let go of my goddamn foot as he hopping out the way. You know what I'm saying? And y'all made it seem like. The dude just was on the ground, and Draymond went over there and eight times stumped on him. You know what I mean? All he did was, like, get off my effing foot, like any of us would probably do in the heat of moment or whatever. And um, But it was the altercation was started from Sabonis. But Golden State, a veteran team, 
Clay, Steph, Draymond, full-time champion, Eagle uh, Dow, got to throw him in there too. Full-time champions, number of veterans, they know how to win. And when y'all unfairly, I believe when y'all unfairly suspended Draymond Green, you woke them boys up and that helped them beat, beat the Kings. However, they facing the Lakers and the Lakers also have a full-time champion on their heel. Yeah, y'all see me with the crown on my shirt. You know what I'm saying? Not representing LeBron. I'm just representing me, King me. You know what I mean? But y'all know what it is. In the NBA, y'all call that nigga the King and it looked like he earned it. You know what I'm saying? It looked like they earning it on y'all now because they up 3-1. And I don't see y'all coming back in this one. I'm going to keep it real with you. You know, a few people keep saying that the league might be rigged because the Lakers up. No, it's rigged if Golden State somehow come back. Then you need to be questioning the league. That's going to seem a little fishy because it just looks like the Lakers are better, man. And it, and it really looks like Golden State has ran their course. I think they're having issues. Um, Jordan Poole, I heard he recently just did an interview or tried to do an interview where the entire team was peeking through the curtains trying to watch to see what he's saying. You know what I mean? Which could be good and bad. Like I said, the Warriors band together real well, so... You know, with any other team, that's bad. When you're alienating one of your players, one of your key players, that's terrible. But with the Warriors, man, that unit is so, man, they so click tight, man. That shit might make them even better. I'm going to be honest with y'all. That might actually make them even better. But only for game five. Because game six, it's over. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. And it's going to be over for, I think, for sure, I think Draymond Green. Let's just be honest with you. Draymond's gone. And I, I don't think it had anything to do with the uh, altercation with with Jordan Poole. I think Draymond is just gone because they feel like they can get a younger player to do what he does. And which is how the, the, uh, a, a billion-dollar entertainment corporation is going to run. You know what I mean? They're going to always want somebody I can get cheaper or younger or faster or whatever. You know what I mean? Key word, cheaper. You know, you know you're getting Draymond back. You're not about to get Draymond uh, full-time defensive player of the year, all multiple all in all defensive um, I mean first team defensive awards. Like you're not you're not about to get that man from veteran minimum. You know what I'm saying? If he's going back to Golden State, you're not about to get him from veteran minimum. So you might as well just cut him loose and find another Draymond in the draft. Now Jordan Poole. This is where it get tricky. This is where it gets tricky for Golden State. Because Jordan Poole, on the other hand, they was hoping for a future in him. That's why they gave him the money. They was hoping to keep that kid, but speculation, it looks like he's having problems in his new role. You know, him getting benched for the entire full quarter, that didn't pan well, you know what I'm saying? And, of course, you know, when Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless, uh, shout out to J.J. Reddick because he don't do it as much. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But once them other guys get a hold of this, nigga, they going to tear you up. They going to they gonna tear you up. They going to run you down. They going to run your name down because all they can go off is what they see. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give you another leg up to let the world know I think that maybe Jordan Poole was frustrated just because of his game and and knowing that he couldn't uh, or knowing that he wasn't contributing to his team and it looks like he was doing more harm than help. I don't think the dude is. Um, I don't think he's just having a hissy fit, y'all. I, I, I think he, it's a little bit more than that, bro. I think it got to be a little bit more than that, y'all. You know, or maybe it ain't. Either way, they got a decision on their hand. By the way. People were saying it may be a matchup of KD and Brian. Now, ain't nobody want to see Brian and KD. They want to see the brow and uh, the brow, aka AD, and Jokic go at it. That's what they want to see. You know what I'm saying? At least Jokic want to see it. You know, he didn't get suspended, but I also like the fact that him and the owner of the uh, Phoenix Suns, they joked off their little dispute, which let it be known. Man, look, this basketball, y'all, we don't need to, I ain't going to hate you for this. You still going to be a billionaire making a whole bunch of money off players and ain't doing shit. And I'm going to be a motherfucking 
a millionaire basketball player being great in Denver, but we ain't never going to win shit. Either way, um, ain't no need for us to have a beef. You know what I'm saying? Yoki said, yeah, I ain't got to bust your ass. I'm going to bust your team ass. And that's what he showed did last night. Them and them Denver Nuggets went up 3-2 over uh, over the Suns. And I'm not going gonna to be real with y'all. Not surprised. Not surprised. I think KD and Devin Booker's handling their business. They doing their thing. They out there cooking and killing. However, the other guys got to get them more. The other guys got to get them more. Both of them dudes is playing 42 minutes a game. I mean, come on, man. KD like 34, right? 34, 35, or a little bit under. Like, and the dude been in the league since he was 19. That's a lot of miles on him. Like, y'all got to step up, bro. I mean, I know KD a bad mother. Shut your mouth, but, I mean, come on, man. Y'all got to, y'all, come on. Him and Book can't be doing it all. If y'all want to survive after game six, man, other guys, y'all going to have to step it up, bro. Aiden, you going to need about 20 and 20, bro. You going to need 20 and 20. They're going to need that from you, dog. Y'all need to win if Devin Booker and KD has a bad night. If y'all want a shot. If not, get your ass out the way so we can see the Lakers and Denver go at it. It's all good. A battle of cannabis. We It can go down. We ain't tripping, you know. Now, on the east side, we know Miami shocking the hell out of everybody. But it ain't no shock no more that they're going to go ahead on and end that boy tonight. Miami going to the Eastern Conference Finals once again. Shout out to Jimmy Buckets, man. That <laughs> The Django of the NBA. Shout out to Jimmy Butler, bro. That dude is, is playing lights out, back against the wall, to the point where even Julius Randle had to say, maybe the Heat wanted more than we do. And I know what he was doing. He was trying to fire up his teammates. He was calling out himself and his teammates saying, hey, bro. We can't just let these boys come in here and dog us, dog. They the AC, and they about to walk in our house. Madison Madison Square Garden. Sorry, y'all had a little list right quick. Let me grasp my thirst. Y'all not going to let them boys walk up in Madison Square Garden, bro, and just take y'all. But I don't think y'all going to let them do it, but they going to do it. Or uh, wherever the game played. The last game might be in Miami. I don't know. It don't even matter. They beating y'all tonight. But Boston. Boston, Boston, Boston. Whichever team wins game five when the series tied 2-2 normally goes on to win the series. Now, my question for y'all, with that being said, Philly went up 3-2. So, my question for y'all. If Philly wins the series, is this an upset for Boston? I mean, of course, because they lost. You don't want to send it, your, your season to end. But did they lose to a team that was just better than them? Or did they just drop the ball? Because I hope it goes seven. I still got Boston representing the East coming out the uh, East Coast, man. But... After last night, I do not know. I felt like that was the game where Boston was going to go in there and punch Philly in the mouth, you know, take a break, let it go back to Philly, get it back in Boston, and, and, and go ahead on and end it at, at Larry Bird, Bill Russell's house. You know what I'm saying? Hey, real, you know, I thought they will end it there, man. But I don't know, man. Y'all let Philly take a lead beating y'all in y'all house. And the game going back to Philadelphia. They showed y'all twice they can beat y'all in y'all house. I'm going to be real with y'all. I thought Philly was the better team. But I felt like Joel Embiid at some point wasn't going to finish playing in the series. I just felt like at some point, Joel and B was going to miss some games and Boston was going to be able to get a few of them and get past them. But nah, Joel and B doing his thing. James Harden doing his thing. Philly just got too much. They just got too much. Tobias Harris, they just got too much, y'all. I don't know, man. The Golden State. 
Y'all ass is done. Game six is over with. If you're a Warriors fan, I suggest you get out there and watch the game tonight because it's going to be the last game y'all can watch with your head up high. Because after that, the Warriors, as y'all now know it, is done. Especially you new now Warrior fans who only been a fan of them when they went when they won their first ring in 2015. Well, guess what? Pick a new team because their dynasty is done. I ain't hating on them, but y'all know how I do on this channel. Tony Mack, where it's always real, but it's always love. Peace.